look at you. Listen to yourself. I suffered with you when you had nothing. I clothed you, fed shh, you. Shh, shh, shh. Hey! Don't say that. Don't say that to me again. I have to remind you because you've totally forgotten everything. I clothed you. I suffered with you. I fed you. Shut up! Shut your damn mouth! Or I may well shut it for you. Money. Money, the Bible says, is the root of all evil. Oh, yes. The Bible also says that money answered all things. Jeff, Jeff, what has come over you? You! You! It's you. You are my problem. You have no right to go through my life. Absolutely no right. Jeff, I am not controlling your life. All I am saying is organizing needs now that the money has come. Go up and be matured for once, Jeff. How dare you? Are you mad? Are you crazy? Don't you ever in your life again insult me? In your entire generation, don't you insult me again? Jeff, you slapped me. And I'll slap you again and again and again. If you don't leave my house. Nonsense. You still have me. I said it will happen again if you don't take a walk. Get out. Leave my house, Regina. Job to someone that is connected to the people in charge. I pass. 
passed all the tests. I did better than everyone at that interview. Even the human resource manager confessed to me. But at the end of it all, I lost out. I lost out because I was not connected to the people at the top. I lost out because I am nobody. And I have nobody. I have nobody but my miserable certificates that can't get me a job. My love, it's okay. Don't take it so hard on yourself, hmm? Everything will be fine, okay? You'll definitely get a job someday. When? When? Probably when we are old. Huh? Baby, I want to treat you like a queen. I want to... In a way you should be loved. I want us to have beautiful kids. I want to take you to special places. Look, I, I want us to enjoy our life now that we're young. I mean, how can I achieve all that with this hopeless situation? No, baby. You're not hopeless. Mm? How can you say that? I'm, I'm here with you and God is here with us. Mm? Don't worry, okay? It will get better. Baby, let's just keep... Hoping and praying, okay? We've been doing that. I did it this morning before I went for this miserable interview. And same old story. How long are we going to hope and pray? For how long? Baby, I know. Where is your faith? It doesn't matter how many times you pray, okay? But God is always listening. Okay, baby, don't take it too hard on yourself, okay? It's okay, everything will be fine, okay? Jeff! Jeff, it's not the end of the world. It will, it will definitely get better, okay? Job will come, hmm? There is still another chance for you, baby. Jeff! Jeff! Okay, I made your food for you. I know you like it. I know you're hungry now. Jeff? Yes. Well, I'll eat. I'll eat. Okay, I'll okay, get it for you. understand what I mean. Hmm? See, I need that shoe. I need that shoe and the bag to match for if I must accompany you to Frank's wedding. Hmm? Um, Lara. Yes. What do you mean? Huh? Just two weeks ago, I got you over three pairs of shoes. I mean, what do you need another one for? Oh, oh baby, I need it. Remember, it's fellow big boy's wedding we're talking about here. And definitely all your friends are likely to be there. Hmm? I 
really need it so I can look clean, so sweet, elegant. Oh, and okay, flashy. okay. All right. Okay. All right. I heard you. How much is it? Um, just uh, thirty-two thousand naira. Thirty-two what? Oh, what are you going to? Hey, don't you know? Didn't your mother at least teach you manners? Sorry if I budge into your privacy. You better be. I can say you guys are enjoying yourselves. Continue. Jeff? Who is she? Who are you? I should be the one to ask you that. Because you are in my house. What? Jeff? Why is she talking about her house? I thought you told me that she is your cousin. Um. Is that what he told you? Okay, you will know the truth now. Get up. Get up! I said get up! Get up! Get up! Jeff! 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 Who is this swat? No, no, no. Did I hear you say? Did you just call me a prostitute? Ladies, calm down. Huh? Calm down! No, no, hey, Regina. Oh my god! No! Let me be! Regina! Regina, stop! Regina, stop! Regina, stop! What is wrong with you? What the heck is wrong with you? I should call me a prostitute! You came here uninvited! And you expect to be welcomed! What is your problem? Yes, you heard him! Do you have me uninvited? You know what, Regina? Please. Please leave my house. Get out. Get out! Baby, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? Don't, don't let this spoil what we have, huh? Okay, I'll get you anything you want, right? Anything. Really? I'll get you lots of shoes, a lot, okay? Really? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Are you going crazy? We do not know what we have until we lose it. Okay. But remember, whatever you are today, she made you. Oh, come on, man, Ken, give me a break. I'm still a young man. I'm still a young, bubbling man. And I need to work a little to the detriment of Regina. Jeff, that girl suffered for you. I know. She has been there for you. She was there for you when you were nobody. I know. And now that you are to pay back. Look, can't look, 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 see. She should just name her prize, okay? Let her name it. And I'll pay her off. Oh God! What was this about? Do you? She did this for you. Did that and all that? Huh? You really don't know a man when he's poor and cannot fight for himself. I'm beginning to know you, Jeff. I think I know you now. It's not what you think. Bro. Mark my word. When a good girl is gone, she's gone forever. Uh, Ken, you're misunderstanding this whole thing, huh? Just let me handle it, okay? And besides, this issue is not leading us anywhere. Let's talk about something else. Man. We have a drink here, huh? You amaze me, Jeff. I'm amazed. Would you just cut this, huh? Let's talk about something else. Like work. <laughs> How is work today? Tell me, man, what happened in your hospital? Did 
Did somebody die today? <laughs> hmm? oh, Come on, man. Let the woman handle your thing. Let's Jeff. Drink up. Jeff. Ken. Drink. Why do you have to leave me? After all I've done for you. Come here, how was your day? Fine. Why are you so excited? I have good news for you. Good news? Yes. Uh. My brother sent me $1,000. Wow. $1,000? That's not even the gist. He wants me to find out how much you said Plasma TV in Nigeria. Ah. Uh. Why? Does he want to buy one? He wants to send three container loads. Hold on, girl. What are you telling me? He wants to send three container loads. And he intends to send more if the market is good. But it's... He's not sure if I can handle it. Who says? You can handle it. I can handle it. We can handle it, baby. Yes. What are you talking? Baby, this might be the opportunity that we're waiting for. This is it. We can handle it. But there's nothing in it. If he sends it, we'll clear it, and, and, and the power of the whole column pay off, and, and take it, and we'll do another one. Right. Look, I, I have a friend in the business. He can just quickly give me the nitty gritty and, you know. All right, all right. And it won't take me anything to convince my brother. Okay? You just, so? yeah, you just want me to find out the prices, the demands and markets, and everything about the plasma TV. No, 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 don't worry about that. First thing tomorrow. The road leads to Alaba. I will not only find out the prices, but also contact the buyers. Oh yes, I will contact all the buyers now. Oh. Huh? That settles it. This is good news. This is good news. This is good news. This is good news. You're wonderful. <laughs> what did he say? He said it. I, is it? Yeah, I can um, relate to this. Jeff's issue. Is that what's still bothering you? Take it easy. Everything will be alright. I assure you. Just take it easy. You have such a soft heart. I wish I could give you mine. Just take it easy. Come. Everything will be alright. Everything will be fine. Okay? Is that why you didn't come to work today? Oh my god. You have to take it easy because this is really, really weighing you down. You'll be alright, okay? <laughs> Me? You'll be alright. You'll be alright. Just stay strong. I assure you, everything will work out fine, okay? Ladies, where do you wish to spend this weekend? Well, for me, I'll go for good ranch, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not a bad idea, you know. I have an uncle who took me there once. Uncle! I beg you, uncle. Yes? I beg you, look at my mind in our own business. So. How do you think they do not for body? <laughs> anyway, honey. Um, I think a good ranch is not a bad idea. Okay, all I'll right. Take off it. Okay, if you say so. Ladies, a good ranch it is <laughs> this weekend. Okay? Thank you very much. So you just, you know, pick up a few things that you. Or rather, Shopping first wow. before we head on. Wow, thank you so much. Wow. Drink on, drink on. Thank you. Huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh.
last night and I was turned in so I came over to his place. What? You just came into town last night and you couldn't call my phone. I tried the number but it wasn't going through. Cynthia, you don't even know your way to my house, Cynthia. I just told you I was turned in so I came over to his place. The number wasn't going through. Cynthia, I thought you were my friend. And nothing has changed that. Excuse me? Oh my, take it easy. Take what easy? You were in my boyfriend's apartment dressed in his boxes and so what? Now we have been at peace. I thank God for you. I hope it, uh, this continues because you know true love is so difficult to come by. Kemi, that's why I've been enduring. You know, Jeff is such a big case. But I thank God he has really, really changed this time. Hmm. I envy you, sir. Hmm. Dan has refused picking up my call since he met me at his uncle's place. But Kemi, what were you doing there at such hour? I only went there because I needed him to help me pass a contract through his ministry. And you had to visit at 10 p.m.? Can we honestly, I don't blame Dan. Just look for him and explain things to him. I think he will understand. But that's what I've been trying to do. He's not picking up my causes and he's not calling me either. I think, I think the best thing is for you to just help me talk to him and explain things to him. Because I don't know, what, I'm just confused. Honestly, I am. Has it gotten to this? Yes. Honestly, it has. Okay, um, I'll, I'll try, I'll try, I'll call him tonight, then I'll talk to him, I'll get back to you, okay? Let's hurry, I really need to cook for Jeff. You know, these days is a problem. <laughs>
Hello, Angel. Hi. How are you doing? Um, what is a beautiful girl like you standing here doing? <laughs> Waiting for a cop. Oh, a cop. I'm not seeing any fun coming. <laughs> um, would you oblige if I plead for a favor? Oh, what sort of favor are we talking about? Do you mind if I take you to wherever you want to go? <laughs> I'm sure it can't be hell, right? It won't be hell. Uh -huh. hey. What's a Ah. Oh. <laughs> See, I'm not in the habit of letting a pretty girl like you stand in the sun, okay? So why don't you bump in if you love my color? I sure will. All right, then. Wow. Okay, here we are. This way, please. So, uh, tell me more about uh, this way. Um, oh yeah, damn! You've got some hot legs, baby. Woo! For sale? Oh no, for personal use. Wow. Okay, it's cool. <laughs> Six perfumes. Yeah. Wow. So, what are you wearing? Oh, just a little mixture here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm wearing uh, <clears throat> Oscar de la Rente. Mm -hmm. Two one two on ice. Mm -hmm. Then um, Juvenji. I guess you're wearing a Dolce and Gabbana. Oh, yeah. How did you know that? Because I'm a sucker for perfumes. <laughs> oh, I think that we have something in common. Oh yeah, we sure do. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, this gentleman has refused to tell me his name. Oh, whoa, whoa, I'm sorry, my bad manners, baby. My name is Jeff. Jeff Murkin. I'm the CEO of such Communication. And you? Miss Osarembe Bissiri, student. And student. where is Miss Osarembe from? Miss Osarembe is from Edo State. Edo State? Edo State. <laughs> you shall make beautiful angels in Edo State, huh? It's just one like me. Oh! Yeah. I love your confidence, baby. <laughs> well, we're riding. Why did you ask? 
directors. I mean, how could you just see me? I mean, pick me up and change my program with ease. Hmm, yeah. Okay, we're going to call it um, nature. It is nature. God destined it to happen. Mm -hmm. And no man could have stopped it. <laughs> mm. Now, check this out, baby. Your appointment with American ambassadors for tomorrow. I mean, what are you going to do in the guest house? When my house is big enough for ten. Uh huh. Are you trying to say that I shouldn't stay in your house? Yeah, comes from no way. I still prefer a guest house. I hardly know you. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Knowing my house is knowing me more. Don't you think so? No? <laughs> ah, you will love Jeff. I bet you, baby. Mm. I'm attracted to you by a corner, but I think I'm going too far. Mm. Really? Yeah. I'm attracted to you by your beauty. And I don't think I've gone any far. Mm -hmm. But that is my time. You seem to have all the words to counter anything I say to you, right? It's okay. I like smart guys. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, thanks. But uh, I'm not smart. I'm Jeff. <laughs> and just like Jeff, I want you to like me. I'm not my clone. Okay? Now eat your food, eh? I bet it's gonna be the experience of our lives. <laughs> Woo, baby! This is the...
Yo, girl. Baby. Ha <laughs> Woo! Sugar, I must confess. You were... Woo! Ha <laughs> oh. Tell me. Am I the sweetest guy you've ever tested? Mm -hmm. Tell me. Cause I know I locked you out. Mmm. Ooh, baby. I confess, you are sweet. Mm? Baby. Hello. Wakey, wakey. Rising, shining. Hello, hello. Angel. What is all? Like, you're playing games with me now, huh? Mm? Yeah, you should be tired because I know I knocked you out. <laughs> mm? Sweet angel. Mm -mm -mm. So, are you going to wake up? Or do you want me to wake you up my own style? Hmm? Oh, sorry, man. Hey. Wake up. Look, I, I, I'm not, I don't like doing this, but if you insist, I will make you wake up! Baby? Hmm. Alright, enough of the game, enough of the tricks. You want me to wake you up in my own way? Hmm? Hmm? Darling? Baby? Angel, come on, hey, hey. Ah. baby, can you just wake up? Huh? Wake up, wake up, wake up. Ah! Wake up! What's wrong with you? To another end. Come back. Hello. Sorry, man. Wake up, okay? Look, I've pushed you a lot. Wake up! What kind of a sleep is this? Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Hey, wake up! Wake up! Yeah, yeah. Can, can I speak to Dr. Ken? Ken? Yes, yeah, me, it's me. Can you, can you hear me? Uh, I'm at home. Okay? And uh, there's a situation right now. I can't talk about it over the phone. Just come to my house right this minute. Look, just stop coming over. Hurry up. Okay? Emergency. You know how emergency is? Yes, right now. Tell me what's the problem? 
It's so sorry, man. Who is your sorry, man? I didn't kill her. I swear. Believe me. Kill who? See, you know what? Just calm down so I can understand you. Okay. Oh, okay. I met her last night. I met her last night. So, so she, she says she came from the east. So I, so you know what? I'd like you to get somewhere. Okay. Uh, she, she followed me to my house. And hey, swear we had a good time. And this morning, she refused to wake up. What do you think she refused to wake up? You wake up, man. Wake up. She's dead. She died on my bed. In my house. And I know absolutely nothing about her, Ken. Nothing. Do, do, do you believe me? You know what? Just, just, just calm down. Can, can I see her? You're not even sure she's dead. Deposited in the mortuary. What? Are you, are you okay? How do you want to do that? What do I tell them? I prepare fake documents for you, fake address, so you can deposit her in the mortuary as your sister. That sets you free. Okay, no, no. I can't. That's not possible. I can't do it, man. I can't. Look, I'm innocent. Let me just go straight to the police and report this case. If you do that, you spend the rest of your life in jail. But, but I didn't kill her. I didn't. Huh? I'm innocent. Just calm down. Look, look, no. you did do something, man. You have to do something to wake her up. You're a doctor. Ken, make sense. Only me do something. Ken, kill him. I'm going crazy. If you can shut up for one minute, I'll go get you the papers. That's the only way you can be free. I'd like you to calm down now. Just calm down. Right? Huh? Just calm down. Just wait right there. Okay? God. Oh my goodness. I would have kept moving. I would have kept moving.
This time around. I've got nobody up there, and besides, it's not your business. Okay? Oh, yeah. I just want you to leave. I thought you never come back. Just pray it's not seen. I am not seen. I'm going to see right now. Just... If she is the one, I'm going to skin her alive now. No, 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 his bed this morning yes yes he must be a ritual killer number 18 khaki crescent I said number 18 khaki crescent now his name is mr. Jeff Weke mr. Jeff Weke Jeff Weke is the name now, now, yes. Okay, okay, thank you. There's a problem. There's a problem, and 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 and, and, and um, I, I, I I'm here. I'm here to report. Um, there is. Calm down. Calm down. Take it easy. Talk. Listen. Um. There, there is. There is somebody. 
somebody um so, so, someone I, I know someone I know that 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 if you don't have any business here please excuse me oh, wow people get this wash out uh, uh, okay um, officer see, sorry I, I, what, what I'm trying to tell you is that 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 um someone someone died in my place eh? Yes, this morning. Um, no, I mean someone didn't wake up. So she, she didn't wake up. She slept and she didn't wake up. Believe me, I don't know what. I'm not saying someone died in your house. No, 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 officer, sir. Someone, I, I didn't mean. No, no, she, she slept and she didn't wake up. That's why I'm here. I'm, I'm here to report this case. I'm, I'm innocent. I didn't kill her. I don't know what happened to her. I, 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 I didn't. Uh, what is your name? What name? Yes. Uh, Je Jeff Lincoln. What is your address? Oh, officer, believe me, uh, there is. I, I don't know what is your address. Um, number, number, number eighteen, Kaki, Kaki, Kaki Crescent. Yes, I, I, I mean, I, I swear, I don't know anything that happened to that girl. Eh? Come over, come over, come over. 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 Come over, we want to have that story. Come and see that. Yeah. I don't know. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. See that. Yeah. That's all right. And see, we, we, maybe you should send this down. Send the man down. I was something. Look, I didn't know how much you have. I'm innocent. I mean, I didn't kill her. I didn't touch her. I don't know what happened to her. She just, I didn't wake up this morning. I knew you would win the case. Well, I always win. Ah, sure, I'm not sure I didn't know that. So, what's happening today? Why don't you come with me? No, no, no. Celebrate. No, not today. I've got to be at the office now. So, what do you have doing in the office today again? Are you working for somebody now? Oh, come on. I've told you times that number that I do not joke with my job. Who said you should joke with your job? All I'm just saying, at least for once, let's go and party together. Let's celebrate for once. No, not today. Maybe some other time. I have something important to go catch up at the office. Please. You know something? Sometimes I just don't understand you. <laughs> Do you live your life for people? You are speaking? Oh, Ken. What? God. Who's that? So, where's the cops now? Okay, you know what? Um, Please ensure that he doesn't make any statement until I get there. Okay? to it. Okay then, fine. Bye-bye. Okay, who is on the line and what's the problem? Lewis, something else just came up. More serious. Ah, you? Case, case, case. Career, career, career. I'm getting... <sighs> How did you know she was waiting for a car? Come on, sir. You can tell when someone is waiting for a cab. So what happened? We got talking. Talking about what? About... about us. I mean, she, she, she mentioned something about the American... American... What was that? What were you talking about us? As you mentioned. Officer, I, I don't understand. I mean, I, I've told you the truth. Think about it. I, I brought myself to the station to report this case. If I killed her, would I come to the police? Would I? I'm innocent. I am innocent. Mister. 
This girl was found in your house. Dead. In your bedroom. On top of your bed. You are the principal suspect here. Do you realize the magnitude of this case? So you know what? I've tried and I, I don't know what else to say. Let me just speak to my lawyer. I, I would like to speak to my lawyer, please. Sir, this man doesn't want to say the truth yet. This time, you better say the truth before it's too late. I have said the truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. Believe me. Take him away, Inspector. So. Thanks for showing up early. That's okay. I'm doing my job, so I have to be punctual. How are you doing? I don't know. Believe me, I don't know. I'm, I'm so confused. Confused? No. You shouldn't be. Because that's the beginning of failure. <sighs> Listen to me. You have to be strong, okay? You must win this case. Yes. My strength will depend on you. Okay. I will defend you no matter what, and that's why I'm a lawyer, okay? Okay. Now tell me what the matter is. It doesn't matter how nasty or how dirty it is. There are few things left in this world that I haven't heard, okay? On that fateful day, I'm relax. Relax. Okay. Okay. I was riding down. The two of you are going to be in immediately to inform her family. Okay? Um, I believe you know what to do when you get there. Um, you can take the 306 car. Okay, uh, but um, sir, I don't think there is in that vehicle. Oh, but don't worry, I'll give you money for fuel. Okay, and then remember to report first before going to her house. Okay, that's awesome. Good, you can go now. Okay. Yeah.
have you done to the punk who killed my daughter? Sir, you have to calm down. You see, the police does not work that way. Someone killed my daughter. And you sit there and tell me the police don't work like that. What sort of nonsense are you spouting? Sir, you see, we can arrive at something here. If only you can calm down. I doubt if you know whom you're talking with. My name is Prince. Jack Imasuwe Perisi. And anyone who plays with me is playing with the federal government. Sir, you see, I understand all that. Good, but just calm down. I want this case in the court of law immediately. I want the boy tried and sentenced to death. And if you can't do it, your best advice to hand him over to me. Because I know what to do with him. Sir, the law will surely take its course. I promise you that. Good. To the best of my ability. My daughter was murdered in her prime, and I will do anything, anything to avenge her death. Sir, I have assured you, the murderer of your daughter must surely be brought to book. See that it's done. It's already done. done. My daughter was supposed to marry the son of my state governor on her return from America. And now look at the way she was murdered. Now, madam, take it easy, take it easy, okay? We're already doing something about it. This year, let me repeat myself for purposes of clarity. If you can't deal with it, hand the boy over to me. Sir, I have told you several times. We are already doing something about it. Be rest assured. I'll take your word for it. Your welfare. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now. I want to see the face of my daughter's killer. Sure. No problem. You're ready to see him. You can see him. Um, Inspector! She has really tried. She has been everywhere breaking her ribs for you. She has been gathering evidence. She even went to Benin to her school. She's spoken to a couple of people that knew her. She has really tried. You think she can save me? Only God saves. But from what I see in that girl, she appears very smart and I know I believe she knows her job. The case is coming up on Monday and she promised to pull you out of this place. My lord, when a man meets a woman and they both fall in love, the fruit that the CEO yield is always a happy and friendly union. But when a man with devilish and crooked intentions meets and pretends to love a woman, that leads to everlasting regrets filled with pains for all those concerned. Mr. Jeff Wicker here is one of those men with devilish and crooked hearts. Mr. Jeff Wicker here, he's a slimy killer with a tongue of deceit. He's such a hardened critic. Mr. Jeff Wicker, when this case is over, you will learn to control your emotions against the art of pleasure and serve as a lesson to others like you. Yes. My Lord, he killed a woman who had good intentions and spent just one night with her. My lord, you may have been convinced that Mr. Jeff Wake is as cold-blooded as a rattlesnake. You may even get more disgusted about the things you're going to hear in this courtroom. But I want you to bear in mind that Mr. Jeff Wake is not on trial for his sex escapades. He is on trial for murder. And that means 
that his life is a stake. The state may want you to believe. The state may want you to believe that Mr. Jeff Wake had sex with the disease until she gave up the ghost. The case is ridiculous. The case is laughable. This case is built on fantasies. My lord, brings misery. Ah, Sir Simon's father, how best can you describe your daughter? My angel. I called her my angel because that was what she really was. She had a beautiful childhood and very good parental upbringing. And anything she wanted, she had. She was a very good girl. Has she ever, to your knowledge, had any sickness that may have led to her untimely death? Like I said before, she had everything she wanted. She used to go for her medicals every three months at the family hospital. So no sickness may have led to her untimely death? To my knowledge, no. She was killed. Thank you. No more question, Your Honor. Prince Birisi. Every father can comfortably say that their children are the best on earth. Prince Birisi, I want you to... Can you even count how many times your daughter slept out of the house? Objection, my lord. How many times has Harry slept out of the house is not relevant to the issue at hand. Objection overruled. You may continue. Prince Birisi. My daughter never slept outside the house. Hmm. Did she ever leave in the hostel during her university years? Yes. And she was living with you while she slept at the hostel? I... Sometimes. But you said she never slept out. Attention, my lord. My lord, I am trying to arrive at something here, okay? And I would really suggest that the witness answers my question. Objection of the room. Thank you. Chief Birisi. Did you be we don't bomb for life? You are in the presence of some Nigerian men of honor. <laughs> men where they don't deny their right to see the sunset. The right to be on their beds and the right to sleep with their women. Not the men where they uh, close your eyes. <laughs> the ritual. Bring him up. Huh? Bring him up. Shut up. Let him stand. There is nothing open your eyes. Oh, okay. Open your eyes. They are open. They are open. You don't open your ears. Come on. Do you see my hand? Yes. Yes. Do you see my hand? Yes. That is like you. No. Small. Small. Small.
and me be Jimmy Finger. Praise the door for Saddam. Okay. Uh, praise the door for Saddam. His Excellency. Okay. Praise the door for Saddam. His Excellency. Praise the door for Saddam. That's true. Get up. I, I am Jeff Wake. Ah, Ramon tell us your son name. <laughs> your father doesn't exist here. <laughs> you are Jeff. Okay, okay. Hey boy, look here. Now me be Joe. Okay, Joe. You are now me. They call Usaigi. I know I get out. What did they call me, Femi? Femi. Fella. Okay, fella. 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 Man, who not take care of this man on a new ticket? Now I'm new ticket here. New ticket, man. Ah. 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 No problem. Sit down. I'm going to sit You don't smoke now. Ah. You don't smoke now. Who was that rat that insulted me in the court? Who does you think she is? You see, Chief, you don't have to worry about them. She's only a lawyer. You know, they start bragging at the beginning as if they're going to bring down the heavens. Only to end up losing at the end. I don't think she's just a lawyer. Why? Just you. Something has to be done about her. Did you not see the way she spoke to me? She has to be stopped. Mr. Chris, you were meant to get married to Miss Osoromem on her return from the United States, am I right? Stand correct. How long have you known her? Seven months. How often do you have sex with her? Objection, my lord. Objection overruled. You may continue. How long have you known her? Seven months. How often do you have sex with her, Mr. Chris? Regularly. In 1999, you were admitted at the Chelsea Reformatory in Maryland, USA. Am I right? Yes. What reasons were you admitted? Where I put it to you, Mr. Chris, that you were admitted for mental disorder resulting from drug overdose and that you and also remember were doing drugs together that was why you were here objection my lord my honorable counsel here is infringing on the rights of my client and that is not allowed objection overruled mr chris what reasons were you admitted i had a mental case caused by the abuse of cocaine yes how many of you were having sex with her mr chris objection my lord but image of the deceased and our families are sick here, we cannot afford to rub the names in the mud. My lord, since it is the aftermath of my client's meeting with Osoromem, I suggest that Mr. Chris answers my questions. Objection overruled. You may continue the first counsel. Mr. Chris, how many of you were sleeping with her at the same time? I don't understand. How many of you were dating and sleeping with her at the same time, Mr. Chris? I was the only one dating her. Uh -huh. Remember you still under us here. And if you claim to be the only one, then I'll be forced to invite two other men in her life. No further questions. The court will take a break. My lawyer was hot today. You need to see the way she tackled Prince Birisi. Who did you just call? Prince Birisi. 15 minutes. The um, father to the diseased. Uh, the one that works with a swagger, that ends? Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know him? Finger thick. Osayeme Bilisi. That's the girl! Yes, exactly! Finger, fill me in. Tell me what you know about them. Yes, yes. She's 
from a very worthy home. Mm, hold on. You mean she's from a brave family? Yeah. So the, 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 the prince, the prince is not just a name. I mean, oh, no, Prince Brissi is the first son of Chief Brissi, the traditional ruler in your kingdom. She was a princess. Yeah. Finger, finger. Just fill me in, okay? Tell me everything you know about them. Every detail. Don't, don't hide anything. Just tell me everything, man. Tell me. I'm going to hear it. The crap. You know what they need money? They give a family, they grab money now. Well, well, now. Huh. You know, aside me, she was my dog, you know, we used to smoke dope, sniff coke, you know, smoke Buddha and fuck it like, you know. She was hot, you know, fast like a Ferrari, with TVs in the headdress and no brakes. That's aside me for you. Irrespective of the fact that she was asthmatic. But, but, what? Finger, I, did I hear you say she was asthmatic? You didn't know? I didn't know! It was just a light stand! How am I supposed to know? Oh my god! She was asthmatic! Oh, sorry, me. She was on a very fast lane. You know. She was asthmatic. She likes. Bad guys and bad things, you know. All her family denied her. She got from me. You know all her good. Is that I knew she would die. So fast. Uh, so rest in peace. Well too bad. It's from you. Finger. Mm -hmm. Finger, can you prove it? Prove? Yes. Can you prove it? Yes. I told you she was my dog. Matter of fact, her 21st birthday, I financed it. All the enjoyment of the group. Finger, tell me more. My ears are wide open. I swear, just tell me everything I should know. Just say everything now. Huh? You tell me what happened in the court today. Uh, the court tell me, yeah. So she was asthmatic. She was. Now, let me buy you ladies lunch. I'm supposed to be paying for your lunch, not you buying us lunch. Well, I've already paid for mine, so... Oh, well, excuse me. So, how's it been? Okay, Chief. I don't know where to start thanking you. You make me so proud. I can see how strong a woman can be in you. Well, I feel so flattered. But you shouldn't, it's true. I mean, you're a role model to womanhood. Well, I really do appreciate, you know. I mean, it's not very easy to find women that can come out and say this kind of thing to just said to me. You must really have a good heart. I mean, coming out to praise another woman is difficult. Okay, you please, please help me. Jeff means the world to me. I have loved him from the cradle. You know, people don't know what they have until they're about to lose it. Please, I'm so scared. Don't be, don't be scared, okay? It's okay. I understand how you feel, because I've been there before, okay? Relax. Now, let's go into that courtroom and show them what we're made of, huh? I believe in you. I believe in God Almighty, all right? Now let's sit and eat. <laughs> so, um, 
and you understand how it went in the courtroom. It was horrible. I mean, how do people just wake up and just say so much lies? I don't understand. Ah, it. oh, it's terrible. I just hope everything works out. It will work out for the grace of God. It will work. You take a bit of yourself. I need you to be strong. Please don't worry. 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 Don't and you know what, Prince? I'm really honored to be your counsel. Honor comes to those who respect honor. Prince, I'm working hard to get to the top of the ladder. You work too hard, and yet you're not there. Hmm. Like I said, I will get there one day. How about um, giving you an opportunity to get there real quick, above other female lawyers like you? I mean, a place you never dreamed to be. Prince, everybody knows that honey tastes good. I welcome the opportunity if I'm given the chance. The way the case is going needs to be turned around. That boy's lawyer is a very smart woman. And from the look of things, she can win the case. You see, counsel, I will give anything, anything, to see that boy hanged. Prince, what do you mean? I want to buy the judge. Hmm. Think about it and get back to me. I'll be in my room. Mark, let's go to see to her welfare. Right. Excuse me. Oh. Thanks for giving me the courage to fight on. I will forever remain grateful. Do you love your girlfriend? Yes. I love her so much. So very much. Can you be satisfied with one woman? No. Men are like animals. Yeah, they love adventure. Every man wants to experience what he doesn't have. Every man wants to know what is behind every beautiful woman. But that doesn't mean they don't love their wives or their girlfriends. When you see me, what do you think or feel? Look, I'm, I'm under pressure now, okay? I, I don't see anything. I don't. Well, pressure, they say, leads men to adventure. They want to ease out, isn't it? I don't see any easing out here. Well, given the chance, what would you do? Look, all I want is my life back. All I want is for this whole thing to end. Let me have my life back the way it used to be. I want to be free. Yes. 
It's all I want. See you in court. Be strong. Can't you see I'm running late? Darling, I don't like the way our family's name is being tarnished. Can't you forget this case so that we can bury our daughter? What did you say? Bury my daughter? When the murder is still, is still alive and kicking? Bethany, she's also my daughter. I can't stand it any longer. Each time I go to that court, all I hear is sex, sex, and sex. And how good she was in bed. See that? Aren't you ashamed and tired of hearing it over and over? At least she was good at something. So many women are not good at anything at all. Then, are you alright? Yes, I am alright. I just want the killer of my daughter to be found guilty. To tell you the truth, I don't think he killed her. life for you. That's all life be now. It's not life for me. <clears throat> I have a better life than this. Oh. <laughs> yes. Think, look, look at where I am. Look at I have a mansion all to myself. <laughs> you have a mansion. I, 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 I have Jeff. <laughs> and no job this food. Look, I'm not hungry. Okay? Yeah. Fella eat. Ah! So that bad. Fella you have food, eh? Issue, 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 no one person they die. If you die, you go there. I'm not going to cry here. Joe, please mind your business. I'm talking to Finger, not you. Okay? I hear now. You don't want that. So why the why the why did you stop? You don't stop us. Now we can talk. But it's not your business. We don't talk about something. We don't talk about something. Let's go with this food, but that's what I'm three times. We don't talk to Sir. This is some white meat which is a translated future service thing. They said they do me some half of a day. Now, no man will use this country to train me, but it's never had that. They have any food? Come on, we need food. Chop. Take a cup. Chop. Me, I don't know the food. Come, I'm not going to get here. Food will come and I'm going to get chocolate in the house. This is the thing that's serious. I don't know what to do to decide this food. But no, Rahada, I will survive. You will get out of here. But this class will be to yourself. The thing is serious, though. This woman to this is. I'm not going to get that. 
Say this one thing else. This one too much. If you can say the pack and one cut and put. What is this thing? Uh, Fellow, you have eaten. Oh, oh my God! God. Ah. Hey, Papa. If they turn my bed, I say I want dinana. Fellow, uh. what? Ah. What is that? Wait for justice to take its course. They know we're winning. Yeah, they know. I watched him die. I watched him die slowly. He took my place and stood in the way of death for me. And so rest in peace. reason for every situation. Okay. So, you've got to be careful from now on until this case is over. Okay? okay. you eat nothing from anybody except from a family member. Oh, my girlfriend? Well, if you trust her, why not? Hmm? Do you think you're going to win this case? deep within yourself, you'll see the truth. I need you to relax, okay? God is in control. What happened? I couldn't continue. She was upset and then she slept off. And that was when he killed her. You're the one saying it. I did not say that I killed her when she slept off. Did I? Well, I do not expect you to agree to that. But I want to make it known to this court, my lord, that on 17th December 2001, a cousin of Mr. Jeff Awake, a lady specifically, paid him a visit. And on a return to the East, 26 hours later, she died. Yeah. And this same Mr. Jeff Awake became stupendously rich a week later. My Lord, everybody knows that Mr. Jeff Awake used her for ritual. Objection, my Lord! What? Jesus Christ! Objection! With all due respect, madam, if we are on a neutral ground and you say what you've just said, I swear I will squeeze your throat till you learn how to get facts before coming to conclusions. You and Prince Berisi, I must say I am so sorry. You don't have the fear of God. 
If you want to kill me, go ahead and sentence me to death. You've already tried killing me illegally, but it didn't work because my Jehovah does not sleep. Yes. Go ahead. I want to kill death. I did not kill Osirime. That's that. The course will go on recess. All right. Court has reached its verdict. Mr. Jeff Wake is hereby sentenced to life imprisonment. Now that was a job well done. <laughs> Thank you. Um, would you like to do some contracts in my state? Well, brains. Thanks for the offer, but I enjoy my job. <laughs> your job. Tell me, how much does your job give you in a year? Uh, I guess not much. That's why you're not proud to say it. Listen, a young, beautiful lady like you should be able to afford whatever she wants in life. Whatever. Let me offer you a lifeline. How would you like to stand in as a contractor for me in my state? And I'll make sure that the contracts are awarded to you. At the end of every year, it's time to make at least 100 million naira. Wow! Prince! Are you serious? You I, mean I can make such money? I am a man of my words. I sign and the wheels start running. <laughs> Just like that? Just like that. Wings, it's a deal. <laughs> That's my lady. <laughs> um, here's a check for you and the balance of the judge. Take the next available flight to my state. The rest will be sorted out there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thanks. when I'm here. You don't walk.
Why were you transferred here? I mean, where is Femi Osage? Joe? Joe and Osage were released due to lack of evidence. But for Femi, he died of some disease. I don't know about it. So, you mean you were condemned alone? Yes. Though I have some people working on the outside. Oh, you are not supposed to be here. I am not supposed to be here. Anyway, my lawyer filed for an appeal. An appeal? Yes. I pray that you win. Because you don't have the nerves, the guts, and what it takes to smile in the presence of danger. How? Have you asked yourself why everybody here respects me? Why I commend respect everywhere? Because I've been in jail longer than a train smoke. I am a disease called crime. Robbed banks, committed murder in alphabetical order, and I'm broken out of jail or something. And I am really tired. Boy, forget finger man. I am tired man. I need to just retire. And, uh, the only way for me to retire now is to just you know, check out through the electric chair. That's the only way for me to just check out. That's how I can stop myself. So I will also be scared with the future. So someday I will be sitting on the electric chair. No, no, no. Not for guys like you, man. Well, it's not a normal way for guys like you to check out. But for guys like me, it's not. Man, I am, I am really tired. You know, every day this thing keeps cracking in my head like pieces of metal, like pieces of bottles in my head. I just, I just need to get it over with. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm okay, my friend. <laughs> you like to hear this? Let me tell you more stories about Osaremi and Jimmy Sticky. Fucking finger sitting on. There were several other times like that. Some of you lost them, that. And I have some of them in my camera phone and some of those three photographs. You mean you, you mean you recorded all your escapades? You have them recorded? Some of them, yeah. Are you, are you sure? date was meant to be for 5.30 p.m. This is quarter to seven. Just an appointment I had to catch up with, I'm sorry. Shall we see it? Fill in the blank spaces, guy, because I'm out of here. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, wait. Okay, listen. Keep okay. Wait. Okay, <laughs> think about it. We can start off a new life together. There's nothing to think about. I've got this case going on and it's really important. Oh God, God damn it. K 
case, case, case. Forget this case. What? We're talking about someone's life on the line here. <sighs> but not your life. Okay, it's not your life. For once, let's talk about us. Not about someone's life all the time. How and could you? How could you? Are you this heartless? What if you were the one involved? Oh, come on. You know I can never get caught up in a mess like that. Having a dead girl in my bedroom. <laughs> Please. You really scare me, you know. You scare me. Are you telling me you do not have any feelings for a fellow human being? Okay. Don't don't get me wrong. All I'm saying is, let's look up to a new world, a beautiful one. We can have as much kids as we want. As I'm talking to you now, I've already planned for a house for both of us in London. Baby, I have plans. Just see it from my point of view. Really? What about my career? Yeah, we're going. Did you think about that? Career, 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 case, case. Baby, forget your career. You know it's no problem to me. I'll take care of you. You know there's no problem to me. Well, I've come to the conclusion that you are the last person I would like to spend the rest of my life with. Because you're so mean. So heartless. All you think about is yourself. I won't be coming down from you. Upset. Okay, look, let's talk. There is nothing to talk about. Just leave. I should leave. Just go. There is nothing to talk about. Okay, you want me to leave? Okay, now. Jimmy's sticky finger. Jimmy's sticky finger? Yes. Sent us there. Uh, actually, we're looking for a man called Joe. A man called Joe? What's the password? Uh, uh, the, the password, uh, password is F-O-O-T. What's the 411? Uh, oh yeah, 411. That's, That's the 411 here. Hey, what's that? Hey, man, take it easy. Give him to him. Is 
without all sticky finger ones? The phone and the pictures? Um, yeah. Yes, that's it. You didn't ask for money? No. No, he didn't. Okay. In that case, I am Joe. So you wait a minute. I'll be back. Well, you lot have gotten the appeal. And well, I've got something new that will sweep them off their feet. Yeah, something they've never seen before. Thank God. So, when are we going to court? Mm, April the 15th. Okay. This must be the last time. We must win this case. Mm. I like his spirit. Girl. You've been helping and keeping it going. <sighs> oh. She's doing everything for free. Okay. Thank you. It's okay. Okay, Chief. Thank you. I must say I'm most delighted. You're Thank welcome. you very much. You're welcome. Thank That's you right. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this house. Cold and empty. This little sister hardly eats. You can imagine what I am going through as a mother. Can it? It is better to die. The lawyer said that this time he surely will be set free. I had your several times before you were sentenced. But you have to put your trust in God, Mama. Some days are better than others. And yes, some days are better than others. <laughs> Kenneth, we have nothing left. If I lose my son, ever since I lost their father, he has been the husband. I see. And I always see his father in his face. Mama, you don't have to worry. You are going to continue seeing his father in his face because he's just going to walk into this house the same way he left, Mama. Mm. Don't worry, he'll be set free. Just trust God. Anyway, I will remain in this house until my son is set free. I will continue to be praying for him. I'll stay here. I have nowhere to go again. Mama, it's okay. It's okay. I'll take my leave now so I can check on you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just... <laughs> You're You're sick. You're sick. <laughs> go away. Go away. Oh my God, I had a good day. Huh. Ooh, um... Yeah, I have one or two things to say. Yes. Um... I believe by the time the war is over, we'll have time for ourselves. Why don't you wait till the end of the war? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I have to. After all, my friend is lying in the valley of shadow of death. And I fear no evil. Yeah, <laughs> I like your gods. Ken, thanks for everything. I have to go inside now because I have a huge case ahead of me and I have to get myself prepared. Yeah, um, all right? okay, you go do that. All right then. I'll see you, right? Okay. Bye. It's okay. Ken? Yeah? Ken? Wait! What is this? I don't know. Just oh, jeez.
if there is any proof that the criminal knows this Osarimen and can tender evidence to this case, I would like to hear you. You may proceed. Thank you, Your Majesty. I do. Jimmy Stickfinger, can you tell this court your relationship with the deceased? Well, first of all, I'd like this court to know that whatever I say here is true because I have not interfered. Alright, save me the seven. What do you know about her ceremony? She was my girlfriend and her father, Prince Omobude Fregene British knows me. I don't know him. He's a liar. I don't know him. I don't know him. Mother. On May 28, 2003, approximately 1 time 3 a.m., your bodyguards on your instructions smashed my cossack in front of a nightclub where I was with your daughter. And they took her on that night and they want me to stay 1,000 meters away from her at all times. All Objection, my lord. Objection for the route. You may continue, Mr. As for Osarem, she was cool adult, but very, very wide indoors. And she once told me that I am dangerous to want <laughs> Why are you staring at me like that? Because you're beautiful. Thank you. Close your eyes. Yes, please? close your eyes. Okay. No, not with your hands. Ah. Just close them. Okay. Are they closed? Mm hmm No trees. Okay, yeah. Open? No, no. Keep them closed. Oh. You can open them now. Wow. <laughs> I... 
I've been waiting for this time my entire life. I don't really know how to go about this. Baby, I want you to spend the rest of your life with me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I miss oh. you so much. Oh. Who is trying to spoil my <laughs> mm. Oh, okay, okay, hold on, baby. Oh, okay. Let me find out who it is. Who is trying to spoil my happy hour? Please talk to me now, please. What is it now, please? Oh, talk to me now. A friend called me from the prison. And, and he said that Finger will be executed tomorrow by 4 p.m. He saved my life. And now he's about to lose his own life. And, and I can't do anything to help him. Okay, what do you want to do now? He wants me to see him before he dies. He asks that I should come. Come on, come on, sweetheart. Come on. It's okay. Look at me, baby. Baby, look at my face. Baby, it's okay. Look, it's okay. Baby, look at me. Baby, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay.
started again. It is you who has started again. You know what? Every other guy is going to have problem with you. Not just me. Dude, what did I do? Hey, 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 hey. Don't talk to me. Don't just talk to me. Okay? Jeff. Jeff, why do you like to see me cry? Why? Why are you doing this to Jeff?
never try to get that close. I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt you again. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I love you so much. I love you too. Stop upsetting me. I won't. Stop making me hungry. I will never hurt you again. I promise. Okay. You almost cost us our baby this afternoon. Baby? Yes. What do you mean? I was at the hospital this afternoon and I'm two months pregnant. <laughs> Get out of here! Oh, true, I am. Are you serious? Yes. Oh my goodness! <laughs> come, 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 baby! <laughs> you mean? You have our baby in there? Isn't it? 